27-13. Tony's ahead. But Mike has an answer. Well, Mike on offense is, uh, the quote that comes to me is from a fellow that we graduated with named Josh Rodriguez. The words to describe Mike on offense is a quote from him as, Mike Tim has more moves than a bowl of jello. Mike Tim was very, took it, the game very seriously. Probably more than anyone else. He, it was good if it was going his way, otherwise if he was losing, he'd kind of get pissed. Uh, pretty streaky offensively, you know. Certain games, you kind of go off and score, you know, 30 points or whatever. Hit shot after shot. Certain games, you kind of throw up, you know, 20, 30 bricks. <laughs> um, Mike Tim's offense is, I would describe it, would be above the rim. That's how he played. Uh, if there was a chance for uh, a, a ball bouncing off the, the hoop uh, on his own team, he would charge in like Dominique Wilkins would back in the back in the late 80s, and he would try to throw it down every, each and every time he could probably try to. Well, I played high school basketball against them, and then I played court ball against them. Both way two different things. Court ball, Mike Tim was a god. He'd go up there, dunk, looking, turn in your face and be like, yeah, that was me. He would be back and forth before you even knew what hit you. And he would be up there going up for the dunk or going around you and throwing up a shot over his head. And 90% of the shots went in no matter how he threw them up somehow. His three-point shot, you know, I really never uh, considered Mike to be a... a big three-point shooter but uh, I remember playing against him some games where that's all he had I mean he would you he, he would be pretty cocky to the point where you know you know Mike and Rob would be on the team and Mike had his little do-rag on and, and Mike could charge easily into the hoop but he would back up and, and pull up and hit that three-point shot it just a mat it, it would just be a matter of if he was if he was in the zone that day he'd come up with a clutch three-pointer as he looked into the stands for his whatever was out there. Um, he would dedicate shots to people. Plus he had a way to uh, take advantage of games himself with uh, Mike Math. What did you say the score was? 38-32. Are you sure about that? After all those threes I hit in a row, you guys were hitting two? He could be down 14-9 and all of a sudden after basket they're up 25. 11. It's just, it was nice to be on his team when he was the scorekeeper. Defensively, he was a stud also. Mike was faster than everybody who played out there. Um, he basically went for the big block every time. Right there, he's coming down. That's <laughs> Oh. Uh, that was his defense. He would sky up there and try to block somebody, or and if he couldn't block it, he'd just foul him. Mike was pretty spotty. You know, Mike was a pretty good ball player uh, on defense, but only if he wanted to be. Um, there would be some times where, you know, maybe after he'd score a basket, you know, maybe I'm a little winded. I'll just walk down to uh, the defensive side of the court and holler my teammates to play some defense while the while the opposing team kind of runs right on by him. He was just like he was in high school. He'd always be scrapping for the ball. I mean, there wasn't a loose ball that Mike Tim didn't get. And then all of a sudden, he was that quick where he'd take a, he'd blink and there he is scoring on the other end. So Mike Tim was a good slasher, great defender, and an even better dunker.